Hey guys, this is the first time um, in a while that I've not where I haven't like been craving to do a video blog. Like I haven't been thinking about. It. I'm just so excited to do it. I don't really even know what I'm going to talk about. I I kind of want to talk about okay. Okay, Amanda just last night hung out with a friend of hers, this guy, um, who I, you know, is great. She, she's hanging out with people. She's doing, living life. And I'm doing the same thing. It's really great. She's hanging out with this guy and they were talking. She was just telling him all about her relationship with me and it frustration and all that. And he was saying to her, um, Amanda, he, he's an actor. And he's in his, you know, he's in his creative experience. He's searching himself. He's he's delving into it. You gotta let him do it. And apparently, it really affected her because she repeated that to me earlier today. And we were talking about it for a while. And I feel almost an emptiness where there was tension before. Because just to hear her say that, that she gets that perspective, that she understands it. Because that's what this is. And I felt like she was kicking, fighting, didn't want me to do it, or was nervous about it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I do know that... I feel better knowing that she gets it, knowing that I'm not trying to hurt her or anyone. I'm trying to figure myself out. Um, and I wanted to, I had a great conversation with Warren earlier. Warren 25 Smash. Really good conversation. And we said, uh, that we were going to start doing this, start probing each other, back and forth, and then, uh, I don't know, then I just decided to get on and make this, I don't know what the fuck, my, my mind is all over the place right now, it's like I don't have anything to say, why would I do a video if I didn't have anything to say, you know, I just watched Lisa's video, Lisa, I just watched your video, her, uh, her account name is Hippified Housewife. H-I-P-P-I-E-F-I-E-D, housewife, all one word, Lisa. At least I remember when I watched the first video I watched yours was back when uh, you responded to Viola Kitty, when we were all having that discussion about makeup. I'm glad that you, uh, I'm glad that you responded to me. It's it, it it's good to know that people understand the things that I'm saying. It's good to hear it. Because I know it's 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 all real. It's all completely real. Everything I'm experiencing is real. I'm not like faking it. It's just different. And that's where all the contention is coming from. That's why people are freaking out because it's really different. It's a very egocentric way of thinking and it's not really socially acceptable. But I say fuck society. Fuck the past. We're not here to perpetuate the problem. We're here to fucking, I don't know, we're here to do anything we want. Anything. Anything we want. And I want to I wanna change things. I want to change the way that we look at each other. I want to make eye contact. I want to listen to people. Can't we all do that? That's a rhetorical question. I'll rephrase it. We can all do that. We can all listen to each other and we can all make eye contact. So now my question is, why don't we? Oh God, I could go over this a million times. I think we don't do it because we're suffering. Katie, Katie Gal 323. She was showing me this book, telling me a little bit about this book that she got. 
I don't have the what it's called still. Maybe Katie, maybe you'll do a video on it. Um, saying that people, the reason people are quick to anger is because they're suffering. And people that suffer, I mean everybody's suffering. The people that suffer a lot start to get bitter. And that's why people are angry. Because they're bitter because they just suffer so much. And the only way to ease suffering is to speak, listen to someone. If you listen to someone for an hour, I think is what she said, I mean any amount of time, but if you listen to someone, it eases their suffering. If you really ask someone why, why do you feel the way you feel? What aren't you saying? What are you thinking that you're not saying because it's something? It's lots of somethings. Pick one of them and just say it. Say it with a video camera on and then put it online and let's make it real let's make it let's make part of you that you have been pretending doesn't exist make it real part of me that I'm pretending doesn't exist I want to make it real My, all these problems oh oh and about bipolar everyone's like dude do some research on bipolar Amanda man is bipolar as it gets like we went through bipolar hell I, 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 I know it up close and I'm starting, I know that it's the, you know, manic depression. It's, it's the highs and the lows together. And it's all sorts of, scientifically it's all sorts of things. But I think it, it's rooted from somewhere. And I think it's rooted from emotional denial. This is something that you're not going to read in a psychology textbook. Maybe you will, but I don't. I think that it's when people laugh and when people cry and get angry. It's a defense mechanism because people, they don't want to get close to what they feel. They want to, but they're having a hard time doing it. A really hard time doing it. And uh, the more we talk about things, the, the easier it is to ease our bipolar and our depression and our mania and everything. The more we talk about things, the better off we feel. The more we talk about things that are bothering us. And I'm not talking about problems. I'm talking about the more we talk about solutions. The more we think to ourselves, why do I feel this? Ian, why do you feel this? Why do you feel on edge right now? Because I've been going on forever and I'm nervous. I should just let go of that. I should just do a fucking 20 minute video. If we're censoring ourselves, then we're stunting ourselves. When I don't say what I'm thinking, even if it's just that, that I am nervous because the video is going on too long. If I don't say it, even though I'm thinking it, it's just going to eat away at me. Every little thing. All right. This video is kind of a blurb, uh, a, 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 a splurge, a, a splurge, a blurb, a splurb an explosion of mess but uh, Lisa I'm, I, I want to respond to your video with it say hi and uh, it was good to see your video and I'm glad you're feeling better I, I I told him that I would go to therapy I don't know you know it's it's all communication I guess you just get to a point where you're communicating with people enough and you're balanced, you know? I think anybody that's going through that intense, like, exploring themselves is going to lose their fucking mind if they're alone. If we're, if we're isolated, we go crazy. But if we constantly communicate with people without alcohol, because alcohol defeats com communication, I think. It slows it down, impairs it. But if we communicate, constantly communicating with people, it keeps, the, it, keeps it all in check. Like, you can explore yourself and delve into your pain and your emotion. As long as you're communicating with people, you're not gonna spiral out of control in any way. You're always gonna be able to balance it off of people. And YouTube's a great fucking way to balance it. Because not everybody's married. Although we all can be in a relationship. All of us can be in a relationship. It's just time to get off our fucking lazy asses and do it. Because it's no different than a friendship. It is a friendship. I'm getting very preachy. Maybe I'm just saying something that I'm uncomfortable with. Relationships are just friendships with sex. 
Yeah, how's that? That's a big statement to make, a bold statement. Relationships are just friendships with sex. And the stakes get raised and we fuck it all up because we think we're supposed to act a certain way. But we're not supposed to act a certain way. We're not supposed to do anything different. It's this. I give this. This is who I am. This is all I can give. Can't. I mean, you listen. And I think when you listen to someone, you really listen to someone, and you let go of that feeling of wanting to stop yourself from being manipulated. You know, we all feel like we, we don't want to allow ourselves to be manipulated, so we hold people at a, at a, at a distance. But that, that not wanting people, not wanting to be manipulated feeling that we have is just a, it's a fucking sociological defense mechanism. Why don't we want to feel manipulated? What are we afraid of? Be manipulated. Be manipulated. It's the most amazing thing in the world to be manipulated by another person. Let it happen. We still have complete control. But let, it, let yourself be manipulated. Feel what it's like to be probed and to grow and to experience someone. Be manipulated by someone. To take someone in. Anyone. Anyone. Fuck. It's, it, it's amazing. It's intense as fuck. And that is what a relationship is. That is what a friendship is. That's what we're missing. That's what's going to change. That's what's changing. That's what's going to continue to change. I'll see you later, Lisa.